I like I love I love doing this, man. Like, I have had some jobs that I hate. I worked on a on a building site as a laborer, and like some people like it. I'm too lazy. I didn't like it. I remember my first day. I was like 17. My first day, I walked on the site, and I was shitting myself. I was so nervous, man, because I looked around, yeah, and the guys working on the site. I don't like to prejudge people, but they look like the kind of guys who there's no World Cup on, and their profile picture is an England flag. <laughs> I'm like, hmm. But they were actually, I was, not, I was the dickhead, I was the dickhead because they were really nice. They made me feel like one of the lads. There's this guy called Brian in particular. Brian was so sound. He was like a bit older, mid-20s. He's like, Khalid, I'll look after you, mate. You know those people who just make you proper comfortable? He's like, I'll look after you. I'll show you what to do. I'm, I'm thinking, Brian, I'm a laborer. I pick stuff up from there. I put it over there. Like, <laughs> I got it. But then we're sat on the wall at lunchtime, right? I'm, we're both sat on the wall looking out over the park. He's eating a ham sandwich. I'm drinking a cup of tea. And he just turns to me and he goes, so Khalid, are you a Paki or a coon? <laughs> he did not skip a beat. He was just like, doo, 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 doo. my name's Brian. I'm a nice guy. Paki or a coon? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you know what the photo thing is though? The photo thing, I didn't even, like he was so nice and he's so casual. I didn't even realize. I just answered the question. I was like, Paki. <laughs> It's like, it's like a week later, I'm, I'm watching Match of the Day. I'm like, oh, come on, man, pass the ball. Wait a minute. That was racist. Do you know what? I wasn't even... This might make me bad, like a bad, like, I'm not very woke or whatever, but I wasn't even that mad at him. I was like, I think he's... A, I still kind of think he's a nice guy. Like, he just didn't know the word. He just didn't know the right word to say. Like, he was basically just saying, like, where are you originally from? Like, that kind of thing. Like, he didn't know. Like, I, want, I, get, I, get, I like my racism like that, like, sunny side up. Like, tell me what's going on. Because, like, now nah, the worst racism you got to watch out for is the sneaky ones, man. Like, I had this uh, estate agent, and she was just being, like, so awkward and weird and, like, making everything difficult. I'm like, why is she doing this? Like, it's making her life difficult. So I looked her up, yeah? And I was like doing a bit of research, Google the name, doing a bit of research, and I, f I found a Twitter, and the Twitter was all like Sharia law taking over Britain and like free Tommy Robinson. So I'm like, probably racist. That might be what it is. And I was like, right, how do I deal with this though? Because she's my estate agent, like she can make my life shit while like letting agents, like she control my rent and everything. So this is what I did, right? She, when she emailed me the next email, <laughs> this is the email that I sent back. And I think this is, I think I did the right thing to make my life easy, but I'm going to read it to you. Let me know what you think. So this is the actual email I sent her. Dear Jane. That's a real name, by the way, fucker. <laughs> Dear Jane. <laughs> Salam alaikum. <laughs> I'll be happy to pay the end of lease fee, although I cannot pay it today as it is Friday. The Muslim holy day. <laughs> and I am forbidden from processing financial transactions <laughs> under Sharia law. <laughs> First of all, that's not true. And second of all, I'm not even Muslim. <laughs> and a paragraph, I would have my partner send the fee, but unfortunately, she is a woman. I don't think that this is the fake Muslim Khalid. Peace be upon you, Khalid Sadiq Winter. I included my middle name because it's the main name of the mayor of London. I thought that would piss her off. Yeah, that's why I thought that was a good thing. And then I'm gone now, fucker. <laughs>